Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 17th, okay? So, timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you, so this reading may not be for you. This reading is not sign specific, okay? So, what do we have for a message today? Oh, I did open, I think, eight more slots for private readings for December, beginning of December. If you want one, they will go fast. Um, so, the link is in my community tab. And it's also in the description box of every, or I think it is. I might have taken it out. But anyhow, you can find it in the, the community tab of my YouTube page, the link to book. Ah, okay. So, Knight of Cups reverse and the Seven of Cups reverse. They just flipped, okay? Uh, that's, you know, coming out of confusion. We had the Seven of Cups reverse yesterday. Uh, seeing something clearly, making a clear choice. There's some sort of heartbreak here. Um, Knight of Cups reversed. Ignoring of intuition, ignoring feelings. Really in feelings. Somebody's, it, it, they're really, really, really in their feelings. Um, there's heartbreak here. I feel like there's heartbreak. That heartbreak, you know, may be telling somebody something because there's clarity with the Seven of Cups reversed. We may have a heartbreaker here. We have somebody here that's heartbroken. Knight of Cups reversed. Um, seeing very clearly. Seeing something very clearly next to the Seven of Cups. Reversed. I didn't even cut the deck because those flipped over. Oh well. Everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. Right? Knight of Cups reversed. I mean, I don't know. We may have some unwanted attention here or somebody that doesn't know what love is or they're not emotionally available or there's just some sort of heartbreak. I feel like it's heartbreak because that's what I want to say. What is this Knight of Cups reversed? We have a heartbreaker. This could be a heartbreaker that explores many options at one time. Oh. I just wanted to clarify the Knight of Cups reversed. The Emperor reversed. So we have somebody here that is corrupt, right? They uh, may be on the wrong side of the law. They're not emotionally available. This is somebody that is very cold, right? They're, they're very distant. I mean, the Emperor reversed is somebody that's not interested. They're not interested in, in responsibility. You know, they don't want any responsibility. They don't want to take ownership. Mm. Or they just aren't very responsible. Maybe they're not very wise. Let's get another card. We could be dealing with an Aries, could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There's obviously a lot of options here because the Seven of Cups is options. There's been some sort of confusion or illusion. What is this Emperor reversed? It's a masculine that is trying to control their feelings because the Knight of Cups reversed his feelings. There may be feelings all over the place or emotions all over the place. This person is very distant though. What is this Emperor reversed? Hmm. World card reversed. Now the world card reversed is no success. I said, what is the emperor reverse? No success, flogging a dead horse, resisting change. No positive change will come because we have somebody here that is unwilling to accept responsibility. They're unwilling to cut their losses. They're staying stuck in the present. They're not evolving. I mean, the world card reverse is not learning from mistakes. So we have somebody here that doesn't learn from their mistakes. There's a lack of success, a lack of accomplishment here because we have somebody here that doesn't follow through. They don't, they don't take a leadership role. You know, the emperor upright is a leader, but in reverse, this is somebody that really doesn't want responsibility. They may not really want a relationship. 
I mean, the Knight of Cups reverse is, is a, it has to do with a relationship. This may be somebody that is a heartbreaker, that likes control, that has some sort of control issues. But the World card reversed is lack of success. So there's, there's some sort of lack of accomplishment here. There could also be some unfinished business. Stuck in the present. We got somebody here that is definitely stuck in the present. They ignore their feelings. Very, very distant, very hard. Maybe hard-hearted. But the Seven of Cups reverse is seeing very clearly, seeing something, coming out of illusion. And there has been some disillusionment with the Knight of Cups reverse. That's disillusionment. What is this Seven of Cups reversed? Ace of Wands reverse. No spark, no desire, no growth. Um... Losing, losing, losing desire, losing the spark, lose, losing something. Uh, seven of Cups reverse, seeing very clearly that there's no growth. There's no growth, there's no action, there's no, there's no spark. There's no spark, maybe there's no attraction. That's probably what it is, right? There's no drive, there could be a lack of drive here. Seeing very clearly that there's no spark, or that there's something is going out, the fire is going out, the flame is going out. Uh, Knight of Wands reversed. So the Knight of Wands reversed is reckless behavior perhaps, there could be a sudden departure. We may have, this is, doesn't want responsibility. Seeing very clearly. Somebody is seeing very clearly that they're dealing with a masculine that doesn't really want responsibility. And there's no desire to go in that direction. Obviously, the Knight of what is this Knight of Wands reverse. There's no action here. There's no action. There's there's there isn't. There could also be sudden action. Something could oh, let's get another card. Ooh, a lot of fire energy here. Page of Wands. It's interesting. I said there could be sudden action. This could definitely be sudden. Very, very, very sudden. I feel like we have somebody here that hasn't been very focused. Maybe they lost sight of their goals with that world card reversed. They've been disillusioned. They've been, maybe they've been in some sort of fantasy land. I mean, we have a Seven of Cups here and the Knight of Cups reversed right next to each other. There is, There has been disillusionment. There absolutely has been. And the disillusionment has caused no success, right? But this is taking action, okay? I hide behind it and it might, there we go. This is taking action. It's doing something, maybe even spur of the moment, okay? I feel like there's something that didn't grow this may be taking a new adventure, going down a new path, and going in a new direction. Could be very sudden, very spontaneous. Seeing very clearly that there's no attraction or there's no desire. There's we have somebody here that doesn't that, that hasn't wanted responsibility. They they don't stick around. They have no staying power. They're not really looking for a relationship. They're flogging. This is flogging a dead horse, right? That world card reverse. It's time to step into the present. It's time for a new era. It's time to let this go. Page of Wands is, could be good news or, or a new suitor. This could be a new suitor that is just coming in out of nowhere, or maybe they have already arrived. That is very well suited, right? Um, this could be something bursting into your world suddenly, coming out of confusion. Something could be happening extremely fast with the Knight of Wands reversed. It could be extremes or there's been some sort of procrastination. This is taking a new approach. A message is coming. This is a message is coming. It's positive. There's a need for new things. There's a need to do something spontaneous to have growth. There's no growth in certain, some certain situation. The only thing to do now is to take action. Page of Wands. Page of Wands is finding that drive. It's taking, it's, this is exciting. There's an exciting new opportunity here. Somebody's going to be receiving a message from somebody that 
it may be exciting, you know? Mm. Ooh, five of Swords. Now, Five of Swords is defeat, right? We have defeat. We have betrayal. We have somebody here that is probably walking away from a situation. You know, they're walking away. It's not negotiable, right? There's no growth. There's... There's no staying power. It's been an illusion. It's been a fantasy. There's no success. This person is emotionally cold, distant, maybe even does things illegally, doesn't want responsibility at all, flies by their pants, you know, their pants lead them in whatever direction they're going. Um, we may have somebody here that plays the field quite a bit. This, is, this may be somebody that, you know, really doesn't care who they hurt, right? I feel like there is an offer or an invite that is coming with that page of wands. Somebody's going to need to be brave, there's, and there's been a lack of bravery. There's been a lack of courage. There's been some sort of fear because of some sort of disillusion. Maybe somebody was abused, you know. We may have a, a tyrant here that has caused somebody not to uh, open up, you know. There is some sort of abuse here. There is some sort of abuse. No success, stuck in the present, walking away, walking away, walking away from some sort of illusion, some sort of fantasy, some sort of uh, heartbreaker. There is a heartbreaker here. <coughs> this person has no staying power. Action is going to be taken because of that page of wands and maybe a new suitor here. An offer or an invite is coming. Temperance. This is receiving something better than you had after you walk away. This was the card that came out right before it. <clears throat> Walking away will bring you peace. It will bring you harmony. Okay, so I feel like there's going to be a change. This is an exchange. It's exchanging something lesser for something better. It's time. It's time. It's also a time of patience. I feel like with that temperance card right next to the page of wands, a message, an offer, or an invite is coming. Um, temperance is basically a card. It's kind of like a card of waiting because of the patience. So if somebody's been patiently waiting, you know, it's a card of timing. Um, Tempering, tempering emotions, managing feelings, going with the flow, accepting that something is over because temperance comes after death. So there's been something is over. Somebody has been flogging a dead horse with a controlling individual that um, I don't know, it could be an unrequited love situation with the Knight of Cups reversed, you know? There's some sort of non-negotiable walking away here. I gotta go, I'm walking away, I gotta do what's right, I gotta do what's right for me. Seeing very clearly that there's no attraction or there's no passion or there's no growth here. Could be moving very, very, very fast, extremely fast. There's a new direction that is opening up. Temperance is a time, it's a time of change. It's a time of evolution. Somebody has been fighting evolution. Five of Swords right next to the World card reversed. They've been in their ego. They've been, uh, I don't know, it feels like there's a heartbreaking <laughs> situation here. A pro profound healing is needed as well with that temperance card. It's a time of healing. It's a time of, of evolution. It's a time of getting something better, receiving something better than what you had. For some of you, I mean, the temperance card can be a reunion after something has ended. So I'm not sure if there's going to be a reunion. There could be. 
Somebody may have made a reckless decision, a reckless choice, a poor choice because they didn't really want responsibility. And they're in their feelings about it. Anyway, temperance is a card of, of change, right? It is after something has ended. Receiving balance. This is about balance. It's about harmony. It's about uh, going with the flow, accepting and allowing evolution to happen. So this is like accepting it, accepting it, accepting that, you know, it's time to go in a new direction because it's right next to that page of wands. An exciting offer or invite is coming. Six of Cups reversed. So this is clinging to the past. Somebody's been clinging to the past. They've been clinging to the memories, clinging to somebody in the past. But they're going to be freed. This is like free, freeing somebody from their obligations. It's time for a change. Somebody could even be leaving without saying goodbye. They just decide to leave. They decide to go somewhere suddenly. There could definitely be a sudden departure here, seeing very clearly that it's time for something better. You know, um, this is definitely a very positive change. The uh, uh, Page of Wands next to the Temperance card, this is positive, it's a positive change. There's no growth. This is leaving the past behind, leaving something behind. Somebody has been basically clinging to the past. Resisting change, repeating negative patterns, not having any success. You can't hold on to the past. You can't go back to the past. You can't, you can't keep communicating with the past. We have somebody here that has been reluctant to let go of the past. Emperor reversed, the world reversed, and the Six of Cups reversed. And therefore, they're not having any success. The world card reversed is lack of accomplishment. It's a lack of success. No evolution. Hold it, clinging to the memories, clinging to the past, you know, cl clinging to something that was abusive, an abusive partner in the past. So we have somebody here that's clinging to somebody. Why? Because they don't know what love is. They like the abuse. There's freedom from obligation. This is non-negotiable. I'm not dealing with your ex. I'm not dealing with the past. There's something to do with the past here that is causing conflict. The past six of or the six of cups reverse is the past, and the five of swords is conflict, a fight. You know, you have somebody here that is flogging a dead horse. It's like they're not having any success because the past is hindering their success. You have to be willing to step in the future and you cannot look back. Every time you look back, you tell the universe, which is the world card, that you're not ready. You're not, every single time you communicate with the past, you're not ready. You're not ready. It's time for a new adventure. It's time for a new life. Temperance, Page of Wands over here in the future. That's time for a new adventure. It's time for something better. It's time for you to have balance and peace and harmony in your life. But you can't, you can't be disillusioned. You can't live in fantasy land. You can't make poor choices. And somebody's been making a lot of poor choices. And therefore they've been having a lot of power struggles. This is like an ego boost. Somebody's been needed, needing an ego boost. Five of Swords, right next to the Knight of Wands. It's like they, they just need an ego boost. And there's somebody from the past keeps giving them an ego boost. And all the other options keep giving them an ego boost. They keep getting ego boosts from, because the Seven of Cups has many options, many choices. This is in the Five of Swords next to the Knight of Wands. Reverse, absolutely, we got an ego boost here. Somebody's been not caring who they hurt because they've been feeding their ego. Nine of Wands. 
Knight of Cups. This is heartbreaking. There is, this is definitely heartbreaking. Uh, decision next to the Seven of Cups. Knight of Cups reverse. Heartbreaking decision to accept that it's time to go down a new path. Um, a message is coming, an offer or an invite is coming, or somebody is about to burst in that is very well suited. This is a, this is a suitor. This is a perfect, it is, it really is. It's a perfect match. If you take, it is, the page of wands is very exciting. It's a, it's a new suitor with, you, with somebody you have a lot in common with. Temperance, this is like coming together very well, okay? This is somebody that you can work with very, very well. It's a good match. Oh. King of Pentacles reverse. We got somebody here that is insecure. Okay, they have a hard time uh, accepting responsibility. They don't like to accept responsibility. Somebody may not be very responsible. Maybe, maybe they um, don't really want to put in the effort. This may be somebody that's lazy that doesn't that wants something handed to them instead of having to work for it. King of Pentacles reverse, ungrounded, unstable, insecure, very focused on money. There is somebody here that I think that you need to be careful because the Five of Swords reverse is definitely be careful. We may have somebody here that, I don't know if this person doesn't have good intentions, Knight of Cups reverse, you know, they may be, they may be, you know, this is somebody that comes in, they sweep you off your feet, you know, they say, oh, this could be like a love bomber, right? The Knight of Cups reverse, right next to the Five of Swords. You know, this is somebody that just, maybe they're suffering financially. There could be somebody here that is suffering financially. King of Pentacles reverse, not, or this person is very greedy. You may have somebody here that is greedy. They're selfish, you know, all they care about is their money. They focus more on their work or their job, or may even have somebody here that is not loyal. They're unfaithful. They don't care who they hurt. But next to that is temperance, and temperance is a card of evolution. It is a card of change. We have somebody here that is suffering okay i think they're suffering they're very insecure they're struggling they're struggling maybe they're struggling financially or they're struggling with their value i mean the king of pentacles reverse is somebody that doesn't know their value it's time for a change you need to know your value it's time to go in another direction you need to walk away from Whoever it is that is, I don't know if they're abusing you or whatever it is. Page of Wands. Finding the courage. Finding the courage. Somebody is going to be definitely finding some courage. They're going to do something. I feel like it's very spontaneous. Walking away, walking away from a heartbreaker or a heartbreaking situation where there's no success. There could be a fight. There could be there could be a fight. There could be a conflict. We have somebody here that has an outburst. They may, there could be an outburst here, could be an emotional outburst. We could have somebody that's really in their emotions. They, they could just, they just explode. Turning your back. Somebody is turning their back. They're turning their back on a, well, it's the Five of Swords. Behind it is the Knight of Cups reversed. It's a it's an unrequited love situation and it is. There's there, there it is. Somebody could be leaving without saying goodbye as well. They have to because they wanna it's like they wanna avoid confrontation. They just say good they just don't even say goodbye, they just leave. 
Page of Wands. What is this Page of Wands? I think there's been a lack of something coming to fruition because right, right behind that Page of Wands is the Ace of Wands reverse. It's because it wasn't time. Underneath the Ace of Wands reverse, mirroring it is temperance, which is a card of timing, patience, right? You have to wait for the right time, divine timing. Something, it wasn't the right time for, it wasn't the right time. Somebody needed to learn a lesson, which they haven't even learned yet, because the world card is reversed, about love and about responsibility. Somebody doesn't like to be held accountable for their actions, you know? And they've not wanted any responsibility at all. They loved all the ego boosts that they were getting. Many options, exploring all the options, but seeing very clearly now with the Seven of Cups reversed, what the best option is, is it coming out of confusion? It's time, it's time to accept. Somebody has evolved just like, They've evolved, they, they see, they got a new vision. Ooh. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this is, this is a golden opportunity. There is, there is a woman here, or a man, but it looks like it's a woman to me. It's a very feminine energy, okay? The pentacles are feminine. So I think that we have somebody here that has an opportunity for stability, for security. Um, we have a business-oriented uh, person here who it looks like she knows her value. She's holding on to her value. Right now, I was clarifying that page of wands. An offer or an invite is coming for this queen of pentacles. She's holding on to her value. A new suitor or a new exciting opportunity. This is somebody who knows their value. This is, this is the queen of value. She's solid, she's stable, she's secure, she's a business oriented, she works, she's a worker, she's devoted. It's a very fertile time. Page of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, there's fertility here. It is definitely a fertile time. Somebody is about to, I don't know, whatever this is, it's very exciting. An exciting opportunity is coming. This Queen of Pentacles is about, she's a mother, she's very motherly. She looks like she has something secure in her hands. She's she's. She's got an opportunity that can lead to long-term stability and abundance. She's holding on to it. I feel like she's going to be approached or she's going to be approaching somebody with this opportunity. Somebody sees this person's value. Definitely. And it's because she sees her value. It's like when you know your value, what you attract. You attract who you are. So it's time. Temperance is a card of timing. It's time, it's time, it's time, it's time. It's time for you to receive something better because that's what that's that's an exchange, okay? It's better than what you had. This is something that you're going to be, somebody's going to be receiving an offer or an invite that is real, that is solid, that is stable, that can bring them security. It's going to help them to let go of the past. It's a fertile time. It really is. Anyhow. Um, I feel like she's, she's, that's the last card that's over there in the future. She's going to, she's, she's receiving a, an opportunity from somebody. This is something that is tangible, right? It's something that is real. It's really solid. It's a solid opportunity. It's a solid offer that leads them down a new path. I mean, I can't. That's what it is. An offer or an invite is coming. It's real. Maybe you should just take it. It's time for a change. 
Good luck.